Yeah. Hi, I'm from Book Television. We're doing a story on Canada's longest running comic book. It ran for 26 years and three months. Oh, um, how long a piece were you planning on doing? About five to seven minutes. Five to seven minutes more than the CBC ever gave me. Come on in. Copies of the first issue of Cerebus published in 1977 regularly sell for hundreds and hundreds of dollars in the comic book marketplace. Is that U.S. or Canadian? U.S. Wow. Uh, can I have one of those? No. And you can see here that uh, we've got all 300 issues of Cerebus. The second longest creative team on consecutive issues on a book was Stan Lee and Jack Kirby with the Fantastic Four from uh, 1961 to 1969. Who's that? Oh, that's Gerhardt. That's the world's most amazing comic book background artist. Does he talk? No. See, and then we keep the whole story in print in these graphic novels. They're they're so thick that they're called phone books in the comic book field. Cerebus, High Society, Church and State 1, Church and State 2, Jocka's Story, Melmoth Flight, Women, Reads, Minds, Guys, Rick's Story, Going Home, Foreman Void, Latter Days. And then there's one more after that. So, uh, can I have some of these? No. Lots of cool things have, have happened to us with Cerebus over the years. Uh, Tony Basilicato, a guy that I met down in Massachusetts, did this Cerebus Muppet for us. He used to work with Jim Henson back in the old Sesame Street days. He traded us the Cerebus Muppet for a painting of Cerebus standing on a pile of dead Smurfs. Uh, does he bite? Who, Tony Basilicato? No. California graffiti artist named Thorne did a huge mural of Cerebus on the Berlin Wall that's still being used on postcards in Berlin, like this one. And then someone actually sent me a piece of the Berlin Wall. And once an English Cerebus fan named Paul Powers snuck into a signing where Margaret Thatcher was only supposed to be signing copies of her memoirs with a copy of Cerebus 134, which featured a character based on Margaret Thatcher. She flipped it over and read the quote I had put on the back. There are no warlike people, only warlike leaders. Ralph Bunch. She made a face and asked Paul, should I sign this? And Paul said, oh yes, please. So she did. And then Paul sent it to me. We've also won one each of the major awards in the comic field. A CBG Fan Award, a Harvey, an Eisner, a Jemmy, an Ignatz, a Wizard Fan Award, an Inkpot, a Defender of Liberty Award, and two Kirby Awards. So what's next for Dave Sim? Next, next I'm going to explain Einstein's theory of relativity in 12 minutes. Can you cut it down to seven? That way we can sell more commercials. Sure, why not? Oh, hey. Hey, uh, thanks for your help with the interview. I really appreciate it. Well, we, we're really glad to have you come by. All right, okay, I'll see you later. I'm Ian Daffron for Book Television.